we know a lot about in utero hormone exposure. Today I was telling you about the Hox gene in which your uh, 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 ring finger ratio to your index finger tells you how much testosterone your mother gave you in utero. Um, and they talk about estrogens, but I rarely hear much about the uh, progesterone. By the way, David, do you know much about the uh, ring finger? No, let's, let's talk the about that a little bit more. Interesting. So which, it, it's like, very, it's the same well, length, then what? I don't mean to, I don't mean to, you know, diffuse your question, but, but uh, it's very well known. It was shown on PBS many, many times. If you take your ring finger, can you hold okay. on to this? So thing? ring finger. So, so you take your ring finger and you measure from the joint to the tip of your ring finger and you take that length and compare it to your index finger, okay? If the ratio is such that it's less than 0.9, your mother gave you a big dose of testosterone and therefore there's certain, uh, let's say you're a woman and you got that, and you're endowed with uh, spatial abilities to uh, play sports exceptionally well and to become a, you know, one of those uh, pile drive person uh, to handle spatial manipulations in the brain. It's, it's well known. So which finger has to be longer then? That means your so, index finger's gotta be longer, is that right? No, it's the ring finger that has to be longer. Oh, the ring finger's longer. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So you can't just look at it. You have to actually measure it by caliper to see the joint compared to each one. And you can tell. And in, in a way, in England, I think they actually test the females who want to do construction work of high buildings uh, to, to manage the machines. And the people who test well in that, do very, very well. Better than the men, maybe. Uh, uh, just think of it this way, just for, so you don't get into the academics of it. If your uh, ring finger, this is from here, okay? Not from where you see the joints from the hand. It's all the way down here. If that measures longer than your index finger, you've got a good exposure. And men and women, it's the same. Why the left hand? It doesn't have to be the left hand. I can't hear you. Sorry. I didn't mean to. It's, it's, it's to, so the, the, the thing, it's to the knuckle. It's not where it pops out of your hand here. It's so. the knuckle to the tip. Yeah, That's phalanx. what Dr. Yu is saying. The phalanx, the end of the phalanx. Okay. Uh, you can look at it all night and you can figure out. <laughs> and and it's, it's very well known. Uh, it, it was published many times. It was by John Manning from University of Lancashire. And he, he's been on PBS. He's been working for the government. He, we know that when you're endowed with certain hormones, you will have certain abilities. Why is that? Why did this, I, how do these finger links have anything to do with your hormones? Uh, because, What's the connection? Uh, you know, this is what I know. The Hox gene will show phalangeal growth, and by a certain amount of androgen exposure, it will make that finger longer, just like feet. Feet have unique features. Uh, we could tell ethnic background just by the shape of the feet. The anthropological biologists all use the feet as a way to define what ethnic group you come from, what racial group you come from. And, and this happens to be uh, one that they, they picked up for androgen expression.